about that papoose. Oh. I got so much respect for that papoose, you know. Mm. That's a black king right there. Hey, Couture Bays, it's your girl, Brit Brat, going live with the Breed Talk and Bay Squad. We're going to talk about Remy Ma catching strays, her and her side piece. But before we get into that, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my fave, the vegan water. And let's get into this battle rap, shall we? Putting the victim. We done had six chrome events. Six chrome events. Papoose was at all of them. How come he ain't at this one? Where he at? Don't worry about it though. Don't worry about it. Why he ain't at this one? Why we ain't in New York? Why we ain't in New York? Because the last time there, your husband punched on him. So you actually brung it to where he more comfortable at. So if he did decide to show up, this weird oka had an ups on him. I hope not. I hope she wouldn't do that because I love her too much. But it just look away. You did it here where this nigga more comfortable. So if he do show up, he can have the ups on him. Man, you foul for real. I hope that awkwardness in your home, your child don't feel. How can you support him? How can you protect the nigga that showed he couldn't protect you? It's wild for real. This nigga's a chump. This nigga's a chump. You know he ain't got the heart, fool. Fucking a nigga bitch when you ain't got hands ain't even a smart move. But listen, that ain't even a smart move. Yeah, but he don't got hands or gun probably. So look, it's about fucking a nigga, fucking a nigga bitch when you ain't got no hands ain't no smart move. But if I was him, I would have been like Verb and Hitman and you would have been the one I talked to. Like, I don't give a fuck if you fucking this nigga. Just tell him stop spewing the business. If niggas found out you was fucking the help, that could really ruin your image. We talking Barack and Michelle, Pap and Rim. Nigga, that's us. Y'all the poster child symbol for black love. Nigga wouldn't even think that y'all marriages still had to go through them stages. Every, of every interview, he show his admiration and tell the world how he think his woman the greatest. That nigga held you down in prison for six years. It was nice, he cried big. It was... Interview, every interview, every interview, hold it down, he already dead, hold it down. Every interview, he show his admiration to tell the world how his woman the greatest. Nigga, he held you down in prison for six years. I know it was nice, he cried big tears. He stood by you by your biggest accomplishment, front row giving you big tears. Now y'all got a beautiful baby girl who oh so amazing. He'd be damned if he lose you to this bozo with braces. Nigga, hey, hey, the world ain't never supposed to know what you and me going through. Hey, the world ain't never supposed to know what you and me going through. But this nigga behind closed doors running his mouth like a hoe supposed to do. Got niggas making blogs and YouTubes. People arguing in the comments if those posts is true. Because them TMZ and Shade Room outlets, they only know you. Listen, hey, hey, they only know you. Them TMZ and Shade Room outlets, they only know you. Them TMZ and Shade Room outlets, they only know you. Listen, he took you out to the best fools. When you ain't feeling good, he put you back in the best moves. So he be damned to see you get stepped to by a nigga he socked out and stood over like a step stool. You think if he didn't... Should've fucked with me, I wouldn't have ran my mouth. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I can't stop. No. Hey. He took you out to eat. To eat the best foods. When you ain't feeling good, he put you back in the best moves. Yeah, he knocked him out because he be damned to keep seeing you get stepped to by some nigga he socked out and stood over like a step stool. If you think he didn't love you, he would have put up with all of this shit. Yo, Papoose. Yes, sir. 
That's how you talk to your bitch, nigga. Woo, child, base squad. This is a mess. But I told y'all two months ago that Remy Ma is cheating on Pat Poos. And Pat Poos knocked old boy between the washer and the dryer. That battle rap hurt me. And I don't even rap. Y'all know I can't rap like that. But in my mind, I can. Remy just had to sit there and eat it because, girl, you was out here sleeping with the help. All this time, Pat Poos put his career on the line. He held you down for seven winters, six summers. And this is how you repay him. You was mad at Kaya for saying Pat Poos is a king, but you out here giving your puss to the help? Girl, make that make sense. You was literally calling women whores and saying they don't carry themselves like ladies, but you're out here in a scandal like this? Girl! And Baira Singh embarrassing like at the end of the day like girl i'ma pray for y'all because i love to see black live but i don't think he's gonna stay what do y'all think bay squad would you stay if you was papoose do you think he's filing for divorce do you think they're on the outs because he wasn't present he wasn't even there like he wasn't even promoting it on his instagram show but what are your thoughts bay squad what are your opinions comment down below i gotta go bye hoes